very good morning friends dear students today we are going to discuss of class 9th mathematics revision for your final exam so friends we are going to discuss today few uh, one marks questions kuch questions hum log apne part 1 mein discuss kar chuke hain and the remaining sums sums we are going to discuss here in this part number 2 just see till question number 9 we have completed here question number 10 is of your assignment which i have given is this if the mean of 7 5 13 x and 9 is 10 then the value of x is so dosto yahan pe aapke paas 1 2 3 4 and 5 observations are given and the mean of these five observation is 10 so you know that as mean x bar equals to sum of all observations divided by number of observations this you know the formula so as mean is given 10 equals to sum of all observations means 7 plus 5 plus 13 plus x and last one is 9 divided by 5 observations 1 2 3 4 and 5 right friends this you know better as in formula now cross multiply 10 fives are 50 equals to find the sum of these numbers 13 plus 7 20 5 25 5 30 plus 4 34 plus x so we got 34 plus x so therefore as you got 34 plus x equals to 50 so we can get the value of x easily 50 minus 34 which gives you the value of x that is 6 that is 16 right friends okay so the answer of this question is d option which is 16 right friends let us see the question number 11 in this it is given the following is the data of wages per day 5 4 7 5 डेटा सो Let us write the minimum means observation is four, five, six is not there, seven, eight, and nine. These are observ or uh, are observations, which is x. Let us find out the frequency of this is, which is you can say f i. It is x i. Now four, four is only one. so the frequency of 4 is 1 here the maximum is 10 is also given the observation 4 is only 1 so its frequency is 1 5 1 1 2 3 so the frequency of 5 is 3 then after that 7 is the number 7 count 1 2 3 there are 3 7 means its frequency is 3 now let us count uh, count 8 how many 8 are there 1 2 3 4 and 4 1 2 3 4 8 4 eights are there then 9 9 is 1 and 2 its frequency is 2 and 10 10 is only 1 right we are going to decide the mode of this observation 
एंड यू नो दैट मूड इज द मोस्ट फ्रीक्वेंट ऑब्जर्वेशन सो द मोस्ट फ्रीक्वेंस मीन्स द ऑब्जर्वेशन हुज फ्रीक्वेंसी इज मैक्सिमम सो एज मैक्सिमम फ्रीक्वेंसी इज फोर एंड दिस इज द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन एट देर फॉर द मूड ऑफ द गिवेन डेटा इज एट विच इज सी ऑप्शन इन दिस क्वेश्चन राइट फ्रेंड्स ओके फ्रेंड्स लेट सी द क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व ऑफ द चैप्टर प्रोबेबिलिटी क्वेश्चन इज द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ एन इवेंट कैन नॉट बी मोर देन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मीन्स प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ एनी इवेंट कैन नॉट बी मोर देन अमंग्स दीज थ्री ऑप्शन सो एज यू नो दैट प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ एनी इवेंट पी इज ऑलवेज ग्रेटर देन आर इक्वल टू जीरो बट लेस देन आर इक्वल टू वन दिस इज द फॉर्मूला किसी भी इवेंट की प्रोबेबिलिटी जीरो के इक्वल या तो जीरो से बड़ी हो सकती है या फिर वो वन के इक्वल या वन से छोटी हो सकती है सो एज इन द क्वेश्चन इट इज गिवेन द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ एन इवेंट कैन नॉट बी मोर देन ऑफ सो कैन फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन इट इज क्लियर दैट प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ एनी इवेंट कैन नॉट बी मोर देन वन सो आर ऑप्शन इज बी ऑप्शन इज राइट प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ एनी इवेंट कैन नॉट बी मोर देन वन राइट फ्रेंड्स सो लेट सी द क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ एनी इवेंट कैन नॉट बी मोर देन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सो इट इज द सेम क्वेश्चन बाय मिस्टेक इज बाई इट इज प्रिंटेड सो क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन यू जिस सी इन द फोर्टीन इट इज गिवेन अडाइज थ्रोन वंस वॉट विल बी द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ गेटिंग अ प्राइम नंबर सो यू नो बेटर दैट वेन अडाई इज थ्रोन सो द पॉसिबल आउटकम्स ऑन इट्स फेसिस आर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड सिक्स दीज आर सिक्स पॉसिबल आउटकम्स वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट द प्रोबिलिटी ऑफ गेटिंग अ प्राइम नंबर सो इन दिस द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ गेटिंग अ प्राइम नंबर इज इक्वल्स टू फर्स्ट वी फाइंड आउट द प्राइम नंबर इन दिस एंड द प्राइम नंबर इज टू एज लीस्ट प्राइम थ्री एंड फाइव सो देर आर थ्री प्राइम नंबर सो प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ गेटिंग अ प्राइम नंबर इज थ्री divided by the total outcomes which is 6 when we simplify it 3 1 ja 3 3 2 ja 6 so our required probability is 1 upon 2 which is a d option in this question right friends okay friends let's see the question number 15 a coin is flipped to decide which team starts the game you know it better that when a game is going to start it so a coin is flipped now the question is what is the probability of your team will start right so to find out the probability of this is as you know that a coin has two faces one head and second tail so to find the probability of your team will start that one face uh, that finds decides that which team will start the game and that face is will be one and the total number of faces is two so therefore the probability of that the team will start is 1 upon 2 which is d option right friends so let's see the question number 16 in this it is given there are six marbles on in a box with with number 1 and 1 to 6 marked on each of them what is the probability of the drawing a marble with number 2 so as the marbles are marked with the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so you are going to find out the probability of the marble with number 
that is only one ball so therefore probability of required event is equals to 1 divided by 6 so our required answer is a option that the probability of drawing a marble with number 2 is 1 upon 6 right friends so let us see now answer in very short one marks question in this it is started with chapter 12 Heron's formula question is given the perimeter of a triangle is 30 centimeter find its smallest side if the sides are in the ratio 1 is to 3 is to 2 so as the sides are in ratio is given 1 is to 3 is to 2 so based on these ratio we can suppose that let the measures of sides of uh, measures of sides of triangle measures of sides of triangle of triangle b 1x 3x and 2x based on these ratios so as it is given perimeter is 30 centimeter so perimeter of triangle is perimeter of triangle is equals to 30 centimeter is given so perimeter means sum of all three sides so x plus 3x plus 2x is equals to 30 therefore this will be 1x plus 3x is 4 plus 2 is 6x is equals to 30 therefore x is equals to 30 upon 6 which gives you 5 centimeter and this the value of x is the smallest side therefore its smallest side is smallest side is x which is 5 centimeter right friends therefore the answer of this question is 5 centimeter ok friends let's see the question number 18 find the area of triangle whose sides containing the right angle are 5 centimeter and 6 centimeter so it is a right angle triangle say it is ABC and in this measure angle B is 90 degree so the angle 90 degree forming sides BC and AB measure of this is given 5 centimeter and 6 centimeter so we are going to find out its area area of triangle is equals to half into base BC multiplied by height AB so therefore half into 5 centimeter multiplied by 6 centimeter square so let us multiply 2 3 is a 6 5 3 is a 15 centimeter square is the answer of this question right friends so now see the questions related to the chapter 13 which is surface areas and volumes right friends in this question number 19 is given the radius of a sphere is 7 centimeter then find the surface area of the sphere so surface area of the sphere of the sphere you know it is 4 pi r square and the value of radius is given 7 centimeter so 4 multiplied by the value of pi is 22 upon 7 radius is 7 square therefore 4 to the 888 upon 7 multiplied by 7 7 the 49 centimeter square so 7 7 the 49 88 multiplied by 7 which gives you 7 8 the 56 7 8 the 56 plus 5 is 61 616 centimeter is the answer of this question 
right friends okay friends let's see the question number 20 what is the total surface area of hemisphere of radius 10 cm as radius is given 10 cm so you know that the total surface area of hemisphere is total surface area of hemisphere is is equals to 3 pi r square right so 3 the value of pi is 3.14 and radius is 10 centimeter square centimeter square so let us simplify it 3 multiplied by 3.14 multiplied by 100 centimeter square so we will get 3 multiplied by 314 centimeter square so this 100 having 20 and this decimal after two digit will be cancelled so we will get 628 centimeter square is the total surface area of the given hemisphere right friends so now let's see the next sum which is related to your chapter states question number 21 is given define range so dear students you just learn all the definitions which is given there in your assignment sheet so range range is the difference between maximum and minimum observations after that question number 22 is given find the range of the given data so we are going to find out the range of this is and now abhi humne definition aapko bataya range kya hota hai range maximum or minimum observation ka difference hota hai so first of all let us find out the maximum observation and i think in this observation the maximum is 19 so maximum observation is 19 maximum value then the minimum value is i think one day it is 8 now minimum value is 8 let us separate we will get the range of this given data so dosto i think aapko range ka definition samajh mein aagya hoga and how to find the range you can get it let's see the question number 23 find the mean of the first five natural number so to find the mean of these first five natural number first we have to write down the first five natural numbers are 1 2 3 4 and 5 so these are the first five natural numbers we are going to find out the mean of this is so mean x bar is equals to sum of all observations divided by number of observations okay friends so let us find some 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 divided by 5 so let us find out the sum of this is 1 plus 2 is 3 3 plus 3 is 6 6 plus 4 is 10 10 plus 5 is 15 upon 5 therefore x bar is equals to 15 upon 5 which is equals to 3 so the mean of first five natural number is three right friends okay next sum is question number 24 in this it is given that find the median of the data 5 9 10 12 6 4 2 and 15 so to find out the median of this given observations first of all we will arrange the observation in ascending order so let us write down there are one two three four five six seven and eight observations which is the even so let us arrange these observation in ascending order first two after that four then five then six after 6 given here 9 then 10 
then 12 and at the last is 15 so i think one two three four five six seven eight all observations we have written so since number of observations are even so the median is equals to you know the formula median is equals to since n is equals to 8 which is even so for even formula median is equals to n upon 2th observation plus n by 2 plus 1th observation and whole divided by 2 it means 8th upon 2 object 2th observation plus 8 by 2 plus 1th observation whole divided by 2 which gives you 4th observation plus 5th observation and divided by 2 so 4th observation is 6 and 5th observation is 9 so 6 plus 9 upon 2 therefore median is equals to 15 upon 2 which is 7.5 is the required answer right friends